Despite challenges and delays, the San Salvador is officially no longer landlocked. The nearly 200-ton ship was loaded onto a barge and sent floating toward a temporary docking point at Marine Group Boatworks Shipyard in Chula Vista. There, it will undergo a few more days of construction and then hit the water for the first time. Maritime Museum employees and 400 volunteers have spent the past four years reconstructing the first ship to sail into San Diego Bay in 1542. Volunteer Router Roy Libby put in 1,800 hours of labor. It's, it's sort of like having a, a, a brand new baby that was just born and then giving it to the nurse and she takes it away to another room. You go, I don't want, I don't want that baby out of my sight. <laughs> More than one million visitors came to watch the construction at Spanish Landing Park. But Maritime Museum President Ray Ashley says the site presented challenges. We built the ship in a parking lot, not a boatyard. So getting the ship into the water is not an easily done thing. And it's got to be done in stages. So this may be one of the slowest ship launches in history. Ashley hopes the ship will make its official debut by sailing into the bay on the first day of the Festival of Sail in September. Katie Shulev, KPBS News.